Hello, I'm Denshi, and today I'm going to be talking about a very interesting piece of software. It's called GB Studio, and it's quite possibly one of the most impressive and, you know, just generally cool things I've seen on the internet and on GitHub, because yes, it's free and open source. It's a game-making studio with this little GUI and all this, you know, cool stuff all done visually that makes Game Boy games. And when I say Game Boy games, I don't mean executables and games that look like Game Boy. But, I mean, actual Game Boy ROMs. It generates actual Game Boy ROMs that then you can play in an emulator. In fact, I have a cool Game Boy game we can take a look at later. Although I think there is an option in this program to package things to an actual Game Boy. Um, but anyway, you can download it on itch. There's some documentation, it's really good. They have a GitHub page and it's licensed under the MIT license. And they have, you know, a pretty cool website with all a bunch of fancy effects. And they show off some of the most uh, popular games that have been made with it. I won't be taking a look at any of these. I got a different one for today's one. And uh, today, I'm going to be, first of all, showing off the software and then showing off that game. So let's begin. Okay, so this is GB Studio. I've modified uh, a couple of things in this game, but this is the demo game. And as you can see, the little play thing indicates where the game begins with the your logo screen. Then there's a, a title screen and... Uh, there's a little bit of a menu uh, that then appears over here. And uh, there's a home screen, well, sort of like home, not really a home screen, but you know what I mean, like one of these little uh, starting areas outside. And then all these areas are linked with these little, you know, links. This area isn't really linked, so I have no idea what it's, what it's really doing here. I haven't been able to figure that out because I haven't been able to access it through, you know, playing through this for the video. But anyway, uh, let's begin to take a look at this. So here we are, your logo, and I believe it's, uh, here we are. Z to start and we're going to start a new game. Here we are, it's like a little bit of a Pokemon looking world. We're this little girl over here and we can open up this sign I guess. Welcome to GB Studio, there you go. It's got interaction and basic stuff, sort of like Pokemon. What is that guy looking at? Very interesting. And you know, you can interact with people and you can have sprites move around. Like for example, this lady over here, she's moving up and down. Uh, well, up, yeah, up and then eventually down. Uh, this is a tree, you can't really... This guy is looking at the duck. Check out the sweet duck, indeed. We can move this rock. Can we move the rock? I remember being able to move. I think we need to interact with this guy in the cave first. It's dangerous to go without docs. Check out GB Studio Dev Doc. Yeah, that's where all the documentation is. Although there are YouTube videos you can check out online. Also, there's this crystal. Can I grab it? Oh, I can save the game with the crystal. Okay, then. Well, it is now safe to turn off your system. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go here. And we can move the rock now, can we? Apparently still not. Oh great, um, that was annoying, that's sort of, I was relying on that being able to move. But that's, that doesn't really matter. We can talk to this cat over here, and it will say Denshi did nothing wrong. So I learned how to modify a couple of things. And we can talk to this guy. Have you tried using this radio? And I would play it, but the audio on the recording is disabled, so I can't really play it. It, I, it, it plays just a simple little, like, bit tune. I mean, that's pretty much GB Studio in terms of the extent of what you can do really, really quickly. This is a little bit of just a demo included in the actual software, and I modified a couple of things in it. Uh, apparently, I modified it to an extent that the actual rock will stop moving, which is, you know, annoying, because that was supposed to move and go to a different area, but there's not really much beyond this little demo area anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Now let's take a look at a finished, actual, complete game made with GB Studio rather than just the tech demo. Okay, here we are with a GB Studio game called Wishing Sarah. It's actually got a level of content to it, unlike the demo, which was just, you know, a demo. So let's start. Art Zurich Game Studio. That's uh, Art Zurich, actually. Wishing Sarah, here we are. Let's start. No save detected. So I guess you gotta make a new game, starting a new game. Okay, then. There we are. Look at that little visual. And look, we're in a little room. Seems something has happened. You can't hear it, but there's music playing. You found a quarter. Press start to check your, your items. Okay, then. Maybe this one does. Oh, it does. There's something on the TV. It's an eye. Oh, it's a flower. Is there anything on the flower? It's a blue flower. Okay. Maybe one of these chairs is something. These chairs all look suspicious. Nope, they don't have anything. Maybe the elevator. Oh yeah, we can take the elevator up. It's missing the buttons. Oh no. What's this lady gotta say? Oh hi, Miss Sarah. How are you feeling today? Better? Can you believe I, I lost a quarter when I was cleaning up your room? Oh, well, I have the quarter. Can I give her the quarter? Oh, cool. My menu is just me walking around. An old quarter worth 25 cents. Can I not, like, take that out? Okay, then. I guess I'll go back. Maybe this vending machine is something about it. Oh, we can insert the quarter. 
Oh, I got the buttons for the elevator. What's this guy got to say? What's this duck guy got to say? Cool. Did you know? Feral pigeons are the same species as pigeons bred to race, and some racers have called for more than 300,000 a bird. Oh. That being said, would you like to save your game? Oh, so you get to hear a little fun fact about pigeons every time we save our game? Okay then. As you can see, this is relatively similar to the demo in terms of just the general actual structure of the game. Not structures and like how it's laid out, but the actual, um, what elements are in it. We have to go back. We have to go to the elevator and put the buttons in. There we are, let's put the buttons in. And I guess we can press it. Guess we can go to the basement. Oh, this, ba this doesn't look very nice. What's over here? It's a gate, it's locked. Okay, guess we can go over here then. Uh-oh. Something meant to happen? I think something, I think I'm just not meant to go there. Oh no, I am. Okay, I, I must have messed it up or something. What's this guy gotta say? Just a crying face. What's this? A star. You found a key. You took shiny. Oh no. What's this? This is a boss battle now. They can't interact with that guy. Okay then. Maybe the key does something. I don't know. Uh, I'm not feeling well. This must be some form of hospital. It is so cold in here. Why is it so cold? What's this cup now? This looks suspicious. Okay, apparently not then. Wait. You're not ready to leave yet. Okay then. It's a ticket machine. This is how it works. Basically, you grab a ticket and wait for your turn to be called. Sometimes it takes seconds. Other times it takes ages. If you find the quarter, you can have it. Oh. Do you gotta interact with that thing behind you? Apparently not. Okay. We gotta find a way out of here then. Well, I, I can't really seem to progress in this game, and that's pretty much as long as I really want this video to be. I hope you enjoyed this video on GB Studio, although there are a couple more things that I do want to talk about. So before I end this video, I just wanted to mention that GB Studio 2 is in development, which will add support for full Game Boy Color games that you'll be able to make in this. I already find it impressive that, uh, you know, an open source program is able to generate Game Boy ROMs in the first place, let alone, you know, being able to generate Game Boy Color ROMs. And, you know, that that's pretty cool, so if you, you know, saw this and you were interested, then just know that a version for Game Boy Color is gonna be eventually made. Uh, that was me, I, I was Denshi, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and, uh, goodbye.